Hey guys, what's up? Here I am V Satish from SJBIT. So now we are going to learn the program Current System Time. So this program takes the time from the system and it outputs on the screen. So here is the code for it. So dot model small that represents two data segment and code segment. Sorry, sorry, two segments that is data segments and code segment. And dot data contains the data. Here it is MSG that is message, and it contains the string the current system time as ends with the dollar symbol. And then it contains three labels that is hours, minutes, and seconds, and is initially initialized to zero 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 zero. And then the code segment starts here where we wrote the instructions. So move ax comma add data. That starting address of the data segment will move to ax, and the, that ax value will be moved to ds. Next, move ah comma two ch in twenty one h. This is a DOS interrupt for to get the system time, and it is stored in the C, um, registers which is ch, cl, and dh. So ch will be containing the hours, cl will contain minutes. And DH will contain the seconds. So, what we do is we have declared already three variables of hours, minutes, and seconds, and we'll store the respective using the respective registers. So here it is: move HRS comma CH. So CH will be store hours will be stored in hours variable. Next is CL, which stores in minutes. That is stored in minutes, and then DH will store in seconds. So thus we got the three hours and minutes and seconds. Now we are, now just we need to output on the screen. So here we are. So we'll load effective address ds comma message move h comma zero nine h in twenty one h. That is we are going to display the message that current system time is. Next move l comma hours. So that variable that value will be moved to l and then we will call disp one disp two. There are we have written two procedures here. If you can see here, start one procedure is here, and second procedure is, is here. So first procedure is used for displaying the um, variable, whatever is there in the variable, and second is this two will is used to display the colon part, right? So we'll check out here later. Before that, we'll go for the next instructions. Move l comma minute, and minute is displayed, and then colon is added. Again, move l comma second, and second is displayed. After seconds, there is nothing, no, no need of colon, so we just don't write call disp two, and then we finish, we terminate the program by, by writing this move h comma four ch in twenty one h. So initially, what we do here is we'll display hours, we'll display colon. Again, we'll display minutes. Again, we'll display colon. Again, we'll display seconds. That's it. Then we'll end up, we'll terminate the program. So initially, disp one. So a a m. What is AAM means? ASCII adjust after multiplication. Here, what happens is initially we are storing the each variable, each values to A register. So A will contain. We'll consider here thirteen twelve zero zero. So here hours contains thirteen. So A will contain thirteen now. So AAM means what happens is we'll we'll unpack these two variables and we'll expand it and we'll make it as zero one. Zero three, and we'll store here to AL, and we'll store this to AH. So this will contain is equal to AX. So this unpacking of one AL register to AX is AAM. That is ASCII adjust after multiplication, right? So what we do here is we'll initially we'll divide thirteen by ten. Uh, we'll divide thirteen by ten. That is we'll divide thirteen by ten. So what happens here is ten ones are ten, remainder three. So, quotient will go to AL register, and remainder will go to AH register. This is the process takes place in AAM. So, as far we, as far you can see here, so AS contains zero one zero three now. After this statement, AAM. After we will add AX comma thirty thirty H because in order to convert the values to ASCII code, so we need to add thirty to thirty thirty to each to each one of the AL and AH registers. So we'll add thirty thirty. That is. It becomes 31. AL becomes 31, and AH becomes 33. Right. So AH becomes 33, and this contains AX. Right. So then what we do is we move that value to BX. So BX contains the same now. That is BH and BL. Sorry, 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 sorry. I've, extremely sorry. I've made one mistake here. So it is actually AH and AL. Here also quotient will go to AH, and remainder will go to AL. And here also H, 
AL because upper number is always the AH value will be there and lower number will have a B, uh, AL value will be there so I'm sorry for that mistake actually the quotient goes to AH and remainder goes to AL right so then initially we will have you now BH is equal to 31 BL is equal to 33 now so this is equal equivalent to 1 3 okay and this is actually the ASCII code so after that we will add AX to L finish then move BX comma AX that's also over now move DL comma BH so BH value that is 31 is moved to DH sorry sorry DL so DL will become 31 now after then move H comma 0 to H in 21 as an interrupt this is a interrupt DOS interrupt for displaying a single character output so we are displaying this 31 which is equal to 1 on the screen so uh, on the screen it will display as 1 after that again BL now BL is equal to DL what is BL now BL will have BL is 33 so DL will become 33 now now this value will be outputted and as the same manner like move H comma 0 to H in 21 H so this 33 is equivalent to 3 and this will be outputted on the screen so on the screen you will see 30 only not 31 or 33 then it returns so it's written so ours is getting displayed now after that called disk 2 disk 2 contains move dl comma colon so this colon will move to dl and that is displayed by move h comma 0 to h in 21 h return so this happens the same for seconds also so seconds again in un unpacking happens after that it adds by 30 30 after that it is moved to bx and from bh it moves to dl and its output again bl to dl again its output again it uh, called this to colon comes after that seconds same occurs so on the screen you will see like 13 12 0, 0, which is output and before that current system time string will be appeared so that's the program is all about so thanks for listening see you in next video bye bye